Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. It's been time. Hours have passed. Minutes. Seconds. Nay days. Nay months perhaps. Perchance. Who knows. But here I am. I'm back and playing some more. And uh, we're getting back into it with chapter 11. Right now. This is the, the B chapter of course. Um, uh, let's get into it. The Lucian army takes Elfin as an advisor. Following his advice, they move south towards the Isle of Caledonia. Caledonia is one of the main islands that make up the Western Isles, the other two being Fibernia and Dia. Castle Ladina is located on Caledonia. Here, men from all over the Isles are imprisoned, awaiting transport to Burakum, the mine of death. When Roy arrives at Castle Ladina, the situation appears dire. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, it looks like we've got a hell of a map going on here. A uh, bunch of soldiers, a bunch of people who need to die as soon as possible. Um, and uh, relatively simple, straightforward. We've got General Morgan over here as the boss. Um, I'm going to choose a bunch of fellas who are going to come along with me for the journey. And uh, I guess we'll see you in a second. Alright, friends, well, uh, back here we are deciding to bring Roy, Allen, Deke, Luff, Chlorine, Rod, Gashana, Lance, Saul, Dorothy, Lalina, Lot, and Tate. Sue? No. Um, she was just for the last chapter to get some people, and I don't believe there's really anything to steal. So we could have Astor, actually. I'm not sure if I want to take Astor as, as opposed to Lot. Let me just actually check the map. I didn't think about that, but I, I don't think there's any chests uh, hovering around this area. No, seemingly none. So we should be okay. Um, ballistas are here, though, so we do need to watch out for those uh, for our flying fellows. Um, but otherwise, I think we should be all right. Um, maybe check the map real quick to uh, do a bit of a uh, positional sorting. Um, get Lelina back. Uh, have some people up the front here. Probably you. Uh, like that. That sounds better. Looks a bit better here. And yeah, that should be good. All right. Well, uh, things are ready to go. Got to keep Lelina safe as well. And. Uh, you should be all right. All right. Without further ado, let's begin. Fight. Or I could press the B button again. God, I suck. Fight. Da 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 da. Been a while since I heard that. Hurry this way, we must go now. Are you sure about this? If we get caught, we don't be stupid. If we say we'll go to death, you're just going to lie down and take that. Don't you have a family or something back home? Yeah, there are people coming to help us from the northeast. We just have to make it there in one piece. Da 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 da. More people escaped. Where were the gods? They were unconscious. Someone drugged their food. Then there must be a traitor among us. Morgan, pursue and eliminate the escape workers. Yes, Lord Arcado. I will return to Jutes. Don't let them escape. Send more hands to the mines as well. I can't afford to lose more workers. Elfin, is that castle to the southwest our target? Yes, that is Castle Edina. People kidnapped on the Isles are first sent there. They are then taken to a Burakum and forced to work in the mines. As it happens, today is the weekly shipment of captives to the mines. It will be difficult to rescue them once they've been sent off. Then you're saying we have to rescue them now? Yes. I already had some spies infiltrate the castle and help the people escape. What will the captives do once they're out? I told them to send their captives to the northeast. In other words, our present location. Then we must rescue these people before sieging the castle. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fire Emblem the Musical, uh, with your stars, the enemy units. I was thinking about doing it for uh, our people as well, then I was like, yeah, well, you know, probably not gonna uh, work out too kindly. 26 is gonna be doing that. Fucking Rotger, get your fucking balls on, son. 10 with Dorothy Longbow. What is going on here? I should be able to fucking ice these motherfuckers. Um, yeah, let's go go with that. Let's have Alan just lead the charge down this uh, end with his fourth righteous blade of the morning. The dawn blade of the morning. Arthur Dane. 
Sword of the Morning, the Sword of the Morning, made a, an appearance in a recent episode of a thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, where have I been? I, well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's tough. It's a hard life. It's a hard knock life for us uh, because I had, uh, you know, exam shit to do. And that meant that I was not basically doing anything apart from exam shit and uh, couldn't record anything. I did the podcast still because podcast is a podcast. It's a frequent thing. Must go on forever. Can't ever miss a podcast. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, been some time taken to get back to this. I know it's never been that frequent this LP, unfortunately. It's just the way things have been, but um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get there, we're gonna push through, and uh, I shall tell you that things are gonna get better from here on. So worry not, my friends. Worry not. So here's Elfin. I didn't even talk about him. Uh, I think we ran into him last time. He has a little fucking bird on his shoulder, which is cute. And he has a liar, which is awesome. Angelic robe and a blue gem he comes with. He is your standard kind of dancer. Dancing with Dancington. And uh, we always love the dancers. Um, apart from I never really use them. Only game I've been using them in is uh, Path of Radiance. Because that swan motherfucker, whose name I can't remember. But that swan motherfucker, what a god. What a fucking god he is. Um, so that's what I've been doing there. Speaking of Path of Radiance... Uh, my plan, by the way, Fire Emblem Fates comes out in seven days, in one week here in the United Kingdom. I know all you fuckers who are watching this in the United US US states of the United States of America. If I could fuck that up sentence, if I could fuck sentence, look, I can't talk. Okay, <laughs> let's just level with everyone. Words, they fail me. Jesus, that is a long ballista. That's what she said. Uh, anyway, back to the fucking point. You've all played Fire Emblem Fates, presumably. Most of you have, anyway. Um, because it's been out for fucking 11 years in your country. Um, and that sucks. Because I've had to wait here. It's actually kind of good, because it means that I had my exams and I didn't have to, you know, think about playing Fire Emblem when my exams are on, because it wasn't here yet. Um... Which worked out, because it means I can now just binge it all in the summer. It's a summer, summer time. And Lance, you, you're you a terrible human. So yeah, I'm going to binge Fate. But before that happens, I really want to finish off Path of Radiance. And Path of Radiance, uh, I'm going to be streaming. So look out on your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. NBZ is back into the streaming game. I'm coming on hard with some Path of Radiance soon. So uh, keep an eye out on your Twitches. Twitch.tv slash LordNBZ. I think I've only got three, four chapters left in it, so I will be giving myself a bit of Path of Radiance up in this. It's necessary, it's needed, and it will happen. So, throw my hand axe through the air sometimes, saying, hey, uh, the hand axe. Oh, good shot. Nice one, Lot. Hey, hit both of them. That's a surprise. It's a turn up for the books, if there ever was one. Could also do a little bit of this. A little bit of Mambo number five. You know what I'm saying? Mambo number five. Someone, so someone on Twitter the other day was asking me like, Hey, I know this is like late, but what's the move set on your your Mama Swine called Mambo number or Mama? It was called Mambo number five. I'm like, fuck if I know. <laughs> what was the last time? Like, that's like a Gen four Mama Swine. What? Why would I know what that is? Actually, probably it was a Gen five thing, to be honest. But fucking, like, I haven't played Pokemon in a year and a half, two years. Why would I know what the moveset of my old Mama Swine was? <laughs> it's like, if it was something like Prime Swine, then sure, I get you. Because Prime Swine, he's he's a legend. He's a myth, you know? Prime Swine is uh, a Pokemon from 4th Gen, from the origins of, like, everything I did in 4th Gen. So, of course, I'd know Prime Swine. Because Prime Swine is weird as fuck. He was choice banded and he had double hit. And why did he have double hit? Because back in the day, Breloom was a motherfucker. And Breloom would set up a sub, you bring in your Mamo, you'd Ice Shard, but before that would happen, you'd die. Because what would happen is the Ice Shard uh, would take out the sub, and then uh, Breloom would focus punch you in the face. And it would be just the worst, because you couldn't do anything about it. Like... That was the end of times. That was the, that was the best of times. That was the worst of times. 
Um, and so what my my plan, which I devised, still to this day I think is rather smart, was to give double hit to Mama Swine, because then it would break the sub with the first double hit. This is Choice Banner, by the way. Break the sub with the first double hit, and then just fucking saunter along and break his focus with the second one, because it would get rid of the sub, and then his focus punch would be kaput. And I thought it was jolly good. And it worked a few times, granted, not all the time, but it worked in my favor, depending on how many fucking defense EVs were going on in Brulooms, which in those days, people had weird EV spreads, because the influence of Smogon had not yet, uh, you know, taken over everything. Every man, woman, and child. But there's some history for you. It's a history lesson of Pokemon, which I'm sure you've all been yearning for. In any case, uh, back to Fire Emblem. You're probably going to hear me talk a lot about fates in the upcoming videos of this. Because I feel... That's what... That, what Was it... I think it's when I was doing Fire Emblem 7 as an LP that Awakening came out. And during that time, I was just talking about Awakening a bunch. And... Uh, I guess you'll get more of my opinions because there's three games this time. Three fucking games, like, can you believe it? It's insanity. It's insanity. It's a crazy town. I'm looking forward to it, you know? I have just all the time in the world just sit and fucking binge on some fates. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Um, so, yeah, look forward to that. I look forward to more frequent videos because... I can do things now, it's, it's actually like I have time, so wonderful times ahead. Um, Alright, Deke, you just start slaying like there's no tomorrow. No tomorrow, there's no tomorrow, you can't miss that sh- You fucking son of a bitch. I'm actually gonna go up here and do that. Why? Because I want Deke to fucking kill these archer bitches himself and not miss them, which is Stupoid. Okay, I want to draw out some of these folk. How about you? You there as well. Yeah, alright. Let's draw them out. Let's, uh... Yeah, Lance can do that job. Uh, maybe I'll go there. Item, we'll get Javelin equipped. Actually, no. I really should use swords. But Roy is kind of poopy. Eh. Whatever. That'll do. Alright, we'll, we'll put Lance there. We'll put Lance there. Mm, there. And I'll have seal lots. Alright, that'll do. Put you there. Lot coming up the rear. And uh Actually you know what? I think Elfin is gonna go south. I'm gonna send Elfin south. Um oh God, I don't even know what to do. I'm kinda paralyzed right now because these guys could jump back into the fucking ballista and Really ruined my day. Fuck me, that is a long- that thing is so absurd. How the fuck can it be that big? Jesus. Okay, well I need to get someone on the job to get rid of this guy ASAP. At the moment, let's just- let's just chill our beans. Chill our beans right now. Let's get this shit on lock. And I actually want to get Roy down south, because um, I believe there's going to be some friendly friends who we want to say hello to. And Roy- Roy is definitely one who wants to say hello. He's all about greetings, is Roy. Talking about Roy, I've been thinking about getting the Roy Amiibo. Oh, God, guys, why? Why am I thinking about buying more Amiibo? It's fucking terrible. I shouldn't be doing this. And yet it keeps happening. It keeps happening. I'll tell you why. Really, when it boils down to it, it's because I could get Roy in Fates, I think. Can someone correct me on that if I'm wrong? I don't know if you actually can get access to Roy in Fire Emblem Fates if you use the amiibo. I'd assume so. I'd say that that made logical sense, right? But I don't know, because Codename Steam was only the four Fire Emblem amiibos that were out at that time. So... That's another matter, isn't it? Um, hopefully... That'll work, but that's the thing. I don't actually own a new 3DS, if you don't know. I've been trying to raise money for that new capture card on my streams, which if you didn't know, that's the thing I was trying to do. Um, uh, so I can buy a new 3DS capture card, so I could uh, one day fucking do an LP of Fates um, and finish my Awakening LP, which is, as everyone known, on the most hiatus of hiatus. But I don't, so that would mean I would need to buy the stupid Amiibo tap. Not Amiibo Tap, that's the fucking mini game thing on 
Wii U. I'd have to buy the fucking Amiibo Bollocks McJigger. Oh fuck, I think I put Lena in the firing line. Shit I did. Shit I did that. Why did I did that? Why did I did that ever? Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play, and then I'm gonna rescue Elfin. With Clarine. And then Clarine should be able to take a hit. This fucking guy is just the most absurd in the world. Okay, so Lelina can get down there. Beautiful. Okay. Now I want Clarine to rescue Elfin. Alright, and then she can run over there. And are we good? Alright, well, yep, she's out of the way. Okay, good things. Good things are happening. Strange things are happening to me. Strange things. Hmm, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a... Uh, Going for there, I'm going to dive bomb the archer the turn after. See what we got. 11, a hammer, a halberd. How about a halberd? Nate shabby, but Nate good either. Roy, you need to be heading south. I'm going to go there. Um, Saul, you can chill. Steel bow. 16 times 2, eh? That's no bad. Killer, though. Hella killer. Let's go killer. Killer that killer. Because it's a thriller. Killer night. Problem is, if I get hit by that ballista, how much HP does Dorothy have total? 29? That's down to 15. That did 16 last time, did it? Boy. Let's do that just in case. Thought this was going to be a bit of a cakewalk of a map, but I can do a little bit of thinking, mainly because this stupid fucking archer guy right in the center. It's like the most awkward position that you would ever dream of. Um, okay. Alright, things are looking okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, Alright, uh, Saul can go around there then. That will work. And how about you go down here? Beautiful. Okay, we've got some new people coming out of the castle, some reinforcements going north. Trying to hose those dudes. Motherfucker, are you serious? Dude, God fucking fuck balls. Are you fucking serious? How the hell did that reach there? You... Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. 